Hello one and all, Alex Ward here with Matrix Amplification and today I'm very happy to be sat next to this fine specimen of a speaker cabinet. We have the FR212 Active Full Range Flat Response Monitor from Matrix Amplification. So as you can see, looking at the front of it, to all intents and purposes, it looks like our standard FR212 uh, passive cabinet which we've all come to love over the years that it's been released. Um, but through the magic of overlaying pictures, you can see that this comes with an inbuilt power amp. Now, this cabinet is rated at 600 watts, so it is super loud. It is a mono cabinet with two 12-inch bass drivers and one one-inch high-frequency compression driver, which have all been custom-made for Matrix um, to create the flattest, most accurate response possible. So if this is your first foray into full range flat response cabinets, what it basically means is that you have a full range of frequencies that are at your fingertips um, with no coloration at all in any of the frequencies. So you shouldn't really be getting any hyped mid range or a dip in the high frequency or anything like that. It is just flat across the full frequency spectrum. Now the FR212 Active Cabinet has been ported for an extended low end bass thump, but it's not really extra color. It really is just that sort of thump that you get in the low end. Um, and none of that is artificially enhanced or digitally enhanced. It's all incredibly natural through the porting design. Now just like the FR10 and FR12 active cabinets, the FR212 active has three DSP modes at your disposal. Now what this means is digital signal processing and it essentially gives you three different frequency responses. So DSP mode 1, which is what automatically fires up when you turn the cab on, is just your standard full range flat response mode. So your typical flat response across the full frequency range. Now if you press the button once, the light will flash twice and you'll get some beeps as well, like this. And now you're in DSP mode 2, which is what we like to call the equal loudness mode. Now what this means is that when you're playing at high volumes, there's a certain perceived frequency response um, that isn't necessarily perceived at low volumes. So this is called the fletcher munson effect, and what DSP mode 2 does is compensate for this. So it alters the frequency response of the cab so that when you're playing at low volumes, your patches should sound the same as they do at high volumes. Now if you press the button again, you get another series of flashes and beeps like this. And this lets you know that you're in DSP mode 3. And this is the low cut mode, which basically means that anything under about 120 Hz is completely cut out. So if you're playing in a particularly boomy environment or somewhere where the low end response of the room is just a bit too much, you can cut everything below 120 hertz um, and really allow your cab to sing in that environment. It sometimes can seem like it's added some mid range if you're playing it on its own, because when you cut the low end, it just the perceived frequency is that you've boosted some mid range. You haven't, you've just cut some low end, but that's sometimes what it sounds like uh, when you play it in an isolated um, environment. Now, like we said at the start, the FR212 Active is rated at 600 watts, which makes it absolutely monstrously loud if you want it to be. So this cabinet really will be able to handle any live situation or rehearsal situation you throw at it. Having said that, it's essentially like a mixture of a hi-fi system and a 4x12 cabinet. So you really do retain all that crystal clear quality at high volumes. I mean, if you played um, a well-recorded music track through it, you'll really be able to tell how crystal clear and how hi-fi this speaker is. It weighs just a shade under 25 kilograms, which is about a kilogram heavier than the FR212 passive cabinet because of the built-in power ramp, which is in the back. But what's a kilogram between friends, eh? So for this video, we're going to be miking it up with the Audio-Technica AT2020 cardioid condenser microphone like we do with all our FRFR cabinets. Um, but like we always say, these things are very much best heard in person. Uh, but this gives you a good gist of what the uh, cabinet is capable of. Uh, I'm going to be using the Fractal Audio AX8, which is situated by my feet, uh, and running through a couple of patches just to give you a, a sort of overview of what sort of tones this cabinet is capable of providing for you. Uh, and I'll also be using my Eternal Guitars Riggs custom S-Type guitar. So, having said all that, let's get this baby fired up and see what it sounds like.
So there you have it, the FR212 Active Cabinet from Matrix Amplification. Super loud, super clear, I mean it really doesn't get more full range and flat response than this. So if you fancy getting your hands on an FR212 Active Cabinet, just head to the Matrix Amplification web shop, which is situated at the bottom of this screen, and we'll put a link for that in the description as well. Um, add it to your basket, click buy, and we'll deliver it straight to your door. So until next time, take it easy.